I've just found something online that I really want to take Jordan to because this is very unique. I've never seen anything like it. This is our final episode of our five-part series where we hired a camper van for just $1 a day. If you've been following along, you know that we can only drive a total of 1,570 kilometers before it starts costing us money. With only 152 kilometers and less than 24 hours remaining, we've decided to try and squeeze in one last van life adventure before we have to hand back the keys. Good afternoon from Tasmania. It is our second to last day in our van. We have had quite the adventure so far, making a cross from Adelaide to Forest, seeing giant redwoods. I just feel teeny tiny. Catching the ferry across from Melbourne to Tasmania, and of course, seeing all of the cute, cute animals in Cradle Mountain. I've never been happier. <laughs> Give me a cuddle. Today, we are about to hop on the ferry across to Bruni Island. This is an incredibly popular thing to do in Tasmania that we have never done before. I think it's only a 20 minute journey, and then I don't really know what there is to do. We also still need to book into a caravan park because like once we're over there, if we don't have somewhere to stay, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Thankfully, Jordan called where we were hoping to stay tonight because reception closes at 5 p.m. and we weren't gonna get there until like 5.30, if that. That was so last minute. We don't actually have data right now. We connected to the terminal's Wi-Fi and we are literally on the ferry as he gave her the bank details. <laughs> Calling it close. how big Bruning Island was. So our caravan site is like an hour away. The rough plan going off of the map that they gave us is maybe stop for dinner or something to eat along the way. And there is a penguin rockery, which I really, really want to go to because penguins are my favorite animal. might be the first time I have ever seen a little penguin warning sign. Like you see wombat and kangaroo ones quite frequently, but a penguin one? That's pretty cool. We have finally made it to the penguin rockery and something something lookout. I don't really care about the lookout, I want penguins. Penguin. Emily doesn't get this excited. No, it's a lie. She gets excited a lot, but this is peak level excitement for penguins. But we are here just after 4.30, and apparently the penguins come out one hour before sunset, and that's at 8.30. So we are literally four hours early. Time for some food. Brittany Island is stunning. I think we got here at a great time. Take the safe affair and just hang out all afternoon. Especially in summer, like the sun still doesn't set for three hours. Isn't that crazy? Just learned that they got our order wrong. They didn't get us cheesy garlic bread. It's like a balsamic garlic bread. And they're gonna bring out the cheesy garlic bread after. But I'm not gonna tell Emily. See if she notices it's not cheesy. Oh, I haven't had wedges in a long time. Oh, and some balsamic on the garlic bread. Don't mind if I do. It's got little sesame seeds on it. That's so good. Doesn't look cheesy, does it? Oh, shit. You shouldn't have eaten any. 
Nah, they got the order wrong. He's bringing the cheesy soon as well. That's what? complimentary now. Oh my god, don't put me through that. You should have told me before I took him back. I'll hide that in case he changes his mind. And no, it's, it's it complimentary. He actually said that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. He didn't say, it's complimentary. <laughs> I've just found something online that I really want to take Jordan to because this is very unique. I've never seen anything like it, but I don't want to ruin it for Jordan, so you, that's all you get. <laughs> so this. I don't think it'll be full at the moment, but this is the Bruni Island Baker. There is a lovely person on this island that fills these two fridges up with wood fire sourdough, Anzac biscuits, little pastries and stuff like that. And it's an honesty system. So you just go up, open the bread bin, whatever's in there, you can take your fancy. All right. Isn't that cool? <gasps> oh, yay! Oh my god! That's so much! Look, Anzac biscuits, they're only $2. Oh, damn it. Oh. Out of everything going on in my brain of this surprise, I would not have picked two fridges full of bread. That looks pretty good. I think that's so cool. I've never seen anything like that. And the fact that it's just this person that really enjoys baking or I don't know how they found a passion for it and just did it for the community. I think that's really cool. Great find by Emily. Now we need to get to our campsite. Apparently because it's closed now, they've all gone home. She's left the key in a box somewhere and we need to find it. <laughs> And this is home for the night. We're pretty much on the sea. We've got a river next to us as well. Power hookup, pretty comfortable. from our final day of van life. We spend the morning cleaning and packing up because we have to return the van today to Hobart Airport, which means we only have until 3 p.m. to experience as much of Bruni Island as we can, catch the ferry back, fill up with petrol, do a final clean, and get to Hobart Airport. It's gonna be a busy day. Same as yesterday, yogurt, blueberries, and a lot of muesli because the packet we bought is still half full. For those playing at home, if my memory is correct, and if that number is correct, we still have about 100 Ks. Really? Yeah, oh, isn't that crazy? I was prepared to go over by like 100, I think. We spent the final day of van life stopping at every viewpoint, taking in the stunning views of Bruni Island and walking in the sand next to some of the bluest and clearest water we've seen in a long time.
This has got to be the whitest sand beach I've ever seen. Great first stop. Second stop. It is past nine now, so we want to run back to the Bruni Baker and see if there's any Anzac biscuits today. You hungry? Yeah. We tried. It looks like maybe he fills it up less during the quiet season. Maybe. That would make sense. Have a bit of a break. Mm. You deserve it. Bit upset we didn't get the Anzac biscuits. I don't know if we'll be coming back this way, so we might not get a chance at all. But I did see on the map that there is like a honey producer around and he serves honey ice cream. Let's go. Restaurant. Apparently there's bees somewhere as well. Ooh. Not just like in the general. Sorry, that wasn't just a general fact. Apparently there is a beehive here somewhere that you could like hang out at, I guess. There's probably wild bees too. Yeah. Oh good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Best stop on Bruni Island so far. Honey ice cream. We got to see bees. <gasps> oh. That's so cool, I've never seen something like that. Oh, you can see them all flying into the little pipe. What? And we met Mackenzie and Mingo. <laughs> they have two little puppies outside and us and two kids decided they look like characters from Bluey. They're such cute little puppies. Oh, it's pretty melty because we were out with the dogs for so long. <laughs> Quite weird. Not very like sweet. I get the appeal because it's like all natural and stuff, but mm. it's not something I would go for in the supermarket. There's not a scheduled time to return on the ferry. We just show up. There could be like a big line and we might not get on for like an hour. So we really have to build in a buffer to make sure we get the car back on time. Plus once we're on the mainland, we need to fill up give the exterior like a spray at least and re-clean the interior because there's all sand in here yeah, now. Because Bruni Island's a big sand island. Mm -hmm. Jordan read on a blog that it's the best island off of an island off of an island. <laughs> yeah. I think that's so funny. I agree. Mm -hmm. mm. Spontaneous stop. I think this might be one of our last stops because we're coming up pretty quickly to the ferry place and I saw it and we had to turn around. Cause we have like basically 360 degree view of Bruni Island. That's pretty cool. Bruni Island. I already want to come back. I mean, I just want to come back to Tasmania in general for Bruni Island. I would love to come back and actually spend maybe two or three days here and actually go to the lighthouse and all these things that we're going to miss. Hotel, motel, Bruni Island. We at the hotel, motel, Bruni Island. Amazing. Thank you so much. We're going on a cruise! Basically, we have a big break. We keep calling it between weddings at the moment. And there's this website that offers heavy discounts on cruises. One fits quite nicely and ends in New Zealand. So we get a little New Zealand adventure. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> 